Hi folks, Martin Butler here again with another video to show you how you can use the images from the Graphic Stocks website in your business, especially if you've got an online presence and perhaps if you make videos, for example, and you want to draw more traffic to your videos. So as you probably know, Graphic Stock is a website where you can get a whole host of royalty free images for a one time annual cost and you've got access to literally thousands and thousands of images at your disposal all royalty free and you're given a, a license as well to use the images as you see for even for commercial purposes so i'm just going to run you through a little procedure here now which i actually use and graphic stocks is absolutely fantastic for doing this it takes out any headache of you trying to source images or create images for your video idents, for example, and allows you to create unique eye-catching graphics that will draw people to your videos when they're looking down for something to view on YouTube, for example, which then you can use to direct to your business or whatever, some sort of hobby projects or whatever, and it gets people to your pages because you've created individual eye-catching designs rather than relying on YouTube software to just pull out a random clip out of the video. The things and the idents that you can create is endless with these images, so let's just hop over to the Graphic Stock website. We'll choose a few random images and then we'll create something spectacular for our YouTube video and I'll show you how to do that using Photoshop as well as Graphic Stock. So let's pop over now. Right, okay then, so here we are again on Graphic Stock. Now again, there is unlimited designs. You've got so many pictures to choose from, so you've got to have some sort of idea what you're gonna choose. And let's say, for example, we're gonna make an ident for our YouTube channel for a video that we're producing, something to do with gardening, I don't know. So first of all, let's just type in uh, backgrounds and just press search because we're just looking for some sort of gardening background on such a broad with over 10,000 results here look of course you can narrow it down a bit but we're just going to scroll down and see what we can find again so many different ideas you can come up with well there's one here which looks quite interesting here Let's just click on that again we've got three different formats we've got an EPS which is an, ed an editable graphic there as you can see there if you've got Adobe Illustrator or Coral Draw that means you can play about with it we've got the PNG image there which again, it doesn't really matter on this because we're, we know the size we're going to be creating. We're going to be creating an ident, which is going to be the screen resolution size, which is 1280 uh, pixels by 720. So for, for this, a, a JPEG or a PNG file would be fine. I like to use a PNG file, so I'm going to put a tick in the box for that. And then all I'm going to do then is to click download. I want to save the file on my computer. I've got one called Graphic Stock Images. And all I'm going to do is save that file on my computer. So the files come down on my computer now, which is here. I'm just going to right click on it, open containing folder. And here it is it, here. It is here. I'm just going to right click on it again, copy it, go over to my pictures folders. And I've actually created a graphic stock folder here and I'll just place it in there. That way I've got all my graphic stock images in one place and I know where they are. So right, we've got a background. I'm going to call that my background. And I'm going to look for other sort of garden related themes. So I'm just going to type into the search box gardening. And again, just going to press enter. And again, if I knew what I was doing, I'm just using random graphics now. I'm just looking here. Well, I can see two I like straight away. There's a nice little plant there which is growing. And there's also some garden tools. There's literally 860 results under the term gardening. Again, depending on what your inspiration is or what grabs you, depends on what you use. I'm going to pull up this image. I like the look of this one. Again, I may or may not use these yet. I don't know. And I'm going to download it. This one's only a JPEG, but I'm still going to download that. And save it. Again, I'm going to right click on it on my download button. Open containing folder and plonk it in my graphic stock images like that just hit the back button we'll do one more we'll get one more image in case i uh, decide to do a couple on the fly i'm pr preliminarily looking for images with a white background as opposed to a, a full colored image like this for example again there's so much to choose from yeah there's one there which is nice about a bunch of carrots i might choose that one 
and again it's only a JPEG but that's fine I'm going to download that image and save that to my computer open my graphic stock folder and just paste it in there that way all my pictures I've downloaded are in one place right well that's given me enough to work with now so I'm just going to open up Photoshop now and for anyone asking this is Photoshop CS3 you can literally do this in any version of Photoshop whatsoever even Photoshop elements you don't need to be an expert to do the things I'm doing I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do on this program but if you can't afford Photoshop or you haven't got Photoshop any other type of desktop publishing software or photo manipulation software will do the job and you can even get one for free which is called GIMP G I M P that is a free open source piece of software very similar to Photoshop and there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube in case you want to learn how to work that I mean it's totally free to download as well but all I'm going to do now is to go to file go to new and we're going to create a new page which is going to be the size of our ident now for the sake of uploading to YouTube for example we want one which is going to be 1280 pixels by 720 and then all you do then is just click OK so that is the size of our ident which we're going to upload to YouTube and all we're going to do now is open our files we've got this one here and holding the control button down and all three have become highlighted and have come in the uh, menu bar and then just going to click open now all three of them items are now going to open up individually onto our Adobe Photoshop and as you can see there we've got the three different images all different on our blank page so using the move tool at the top there the one on top is always the one you're working with in which case it's our background so all I'm going to do is literally just hold the left mouse button down on the image as you can see the little cross and little arrow showing that I'm on this picture hold the left mouse button down and just literally drag it onto the big white picture and let go now this picture is very very large and I want to sort of hold the left mouse button down and drag until I find the end of the page which is there and then you can literally hold the left mouse button down on the corner until you see the two little arrows appear and then hold the left mouse button down and drag it down and then pull it back up again and then hold it again and drag it down and bring it back up again all I'm basically doing here is resizing this massive image and bringing it down to a smaller size so I can get it all onto my page and I'm just dragging it down coming up there we go so I can see it now put it in the corner hold that diagonal again and just drag it out till it fills the actual page and there you go and then put a tick in the box and then that then is our background to our image so that is the main background of our ident and what I'm going to do now is just to put some words on here and let's say the video for example is about growing seeds let's move that over to one side there's our background image now which we don't need we can shut it up and we've got at the moment we've got a carrot plate of carrots or we've got uh, some seeds there now again depending on what we're going to do if we're going to be doing a video about growing or planting seeds we can use this image here so let's say this is the one for example so I've got this here and don't forget this is where it's handy when it comes on the white background you want to go to this tool here which is the magic wand tool click on it and then put the magic wand over the white page uh, the white part of the page click the mouse once and as you can see you've got what they call the marching ants which has gone right round the outside of the image and also around the border as well now what we need to do there because we want to just click this image and get this image and not all the background so we have to go to select and then inverse now when I click on the inverse you'll see the marching ants disappear from around the border and they'll just stay around the plant pot there we go can you see they disappeared then all that means is, is that all this image is now selected and then what we're going to do then is to click edit copy go to our background so that this is on top and then click edit paste now don't forget it's a very big image and we've now got to click the move tool and we're going to drag like we did before holding the left mouse button down until we find the corner and then just hold the left mouse button down on that corner and drag the image back up onto the page and just keep doing this until you've actually resized the image to the size that you want I'll just get there first hold on bear with me bring it back up back up like that 
until you're happy with where, what you've got. Now I quite like that size there. And then I'm just going to tick the box and say OK. Now you may see there at the bottom here, there is some sort of shadowing which was on the actual drawing. If I just lift it up a bit, you'll see it all there. Look. Well, I don't personally like that. So what I'm going to do is just go to the rubber tool on the side menu bar here, the erase tool. Click on it. And then my rubber's a little bit small at the moment. So if you go up to the brush settings at the top there, just make the brush bigger. There's all your different types of brushes, by the way. I'm just going to take it up to probably about that size I'm happy with. And then literally, because we've got just the plant pot highlighted blue, it doesn't matter where you put that on the page, as you can see, because we're not rubbing the background out, because we're not on the background layer, or the background layer is not activated. All we're on is the plant pot layer, which is there, which means that all I'm going to do is just literally look, rub out that bit I don't need. I've got my left mouse button down, and I'm just going to rub around there roughly until it looks the way I want it to. I haven't got to be very accurate with this. You can zoom in if you want. That's uh, another tutorial on how to use, uh, use Photoshop. Don't need it for this little exam I'm doing here. And there we go. That's disappeared. Go back to the Move tool. And literally just bring the, uh, the flower pot down to where you want it. Now let's say we want it there, for example. Now so far, that is quite a nice little ident we've got there. But we want to change things a little bit. And we want to put some writing on there. So that's where we click the text tool. Or what you could do is, if you don't like the location, try it somewhere else on the page. Just move it to the other side. I'm going to leave it this side. So yeah, I've just changed it like that just by moving it using the move tool. So now I'm going to get the text tool. And then I'm going to choose a font. I'm just going to choose brush script standard. Click on the page somewhere. And then just type in how to plant your seeds. And just drag it to where you want it on the page. If you want to change the font, literally just highlight it. And you can change the font to a different style if you want. So let's, for example, choose Callsville. The size is a bit big, so I'm just going to drop that down to 30. And that looks OK to me. Let's just drag it onto the page again a little bit more. And rather than have, have it centralised there, as you can see, I'm just going to do it left justification. And then bring it back over again and that looks a lot better and if you want to do some fancy stuff with your font for example all you've got to do is to come over to the layer where it is if you click on the actual writing on the layer that will just mean that you'll change the name you can change the name of what you call that layer you actually want to just check click on if you can come out of that look just click on the blue twice and that opens up this window here now when you've got this window here, this then means that you, you can do some different things to this writing here. And I'm going to choose a stroke. Stroke puts an outline around it. If you want to change the red outline, go to the stroke box and just double click on that. And that's where you, it opens up another window where you can change the colour, for example. Now we're using green here, so I can either take the mouse dropper and click on the bit of grass there. Just green. And change it to that green. Or you can choose from the palette up here and put the mouse anywhere on the page and alter the outline there. So once you've chosen your green, click OK. And you can even change the size of the, the stroke, so to speak. Can you see look, how it's increasing it like that? I quite like the look of that. And if you wanted to add some depth to your graphic, uh, your writing, just click the bevel and emboss. Double click on it again. Then you can alter the size of the bevel and emboss. Can you see how it's changing? where you can change it to ch chisel hard, more pointed, I quite like that. So I'm going to leave that like that, and then click OK. Now we've got the plant pot here, and if we wanted to do something to the plant pot, just come over to your plant pot layer, click on that, and we're now active on the plant pot. And if you wanted to do something to that, just double click on the blue bar, as you know, and that can bring up the stroke, blah, 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 whatever. I like to put an outer glow on these sort of things. So if you choose outer glow, and then click on the outer glow box after you've ticked it, there's the adjustment window. And then I like to alter the spread and the size. And as you can see, it gives you some sort of, um, sort of glowing look behind the back of your actual item which, you've, uh, which you're working on. And then click OK. 
And there you go. We've created the lovely ident there. So all I would do then would go to File, Save As, and save it as a PNG file. And then I would call this my Garden Seed ident and save it in the folder which I want to save it on. Click OK. And there we've done. We've created a lovely graphic there without any real imagination, just using the standard pictures in graphic stock. We've got a background there, we've used another image there, and we've put a simple piece of text on so that when we up our, upload it to e, uh, YouTube, when we've uploaded our video, you can then choose this little ident to be visible on your video and draw more people to your videos. So quickly going up to my YouTube channel here, one of my other YouTube channels, as you can probably see there, these are all the different ident's which I've got. If you see the ones here, for example, they've all got writing on the top or clips from the videos. But as you can see, they are very distinctive. And here's one of my ones which I created with a uh, graphic stock image at the back with a picture of me on it this time and just some words or text. And the, the beauty is, is that when you type in, for example, something into the search term which you're looking for, as you can see, these are just general graphics where YouTube picks just part of someone's video and they can look pretty sort of unimaginative. But as you can see here, there's my ones. Straight away, you're drawn to these as opposed to these ones and people are more likely to click on your videos if you've created a special ident and using the images in graphic stock gives you a great variation to create independent eye-catching idents. As I say, all these down here, for example, there's another one of mine, they stand out. These are just generic ones off of the actual video which YouTube randomly picks. Create your own idents using the images from graphic stock. Couldn't be any simpler. Right, well, there you go. Hope you found that very interesting and enlightening. And don't forget, graphic stocks are running a, a special deal at the moment where they've got a seven day free trial where you've got uh, 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 an unlimited access to their complete database. And you can download over 140 images during that period of time. You're then given the option then to obviously buy the uh, annual package, which is a great deal of $99, which is probably about £74 if you're here in the UK. And this takes the headache out of you having copyright strikes against you because you're, you're either using copyrighted images which you've got from Google Images. And don't forget, as I've said to you before in my last graphic stock video, other people own them images. And you really have to be whiter than white when it comes to becoming popular on the internet, whether it be via YouTube or whatever, and the more people that see your videos or your presence online, which is what you want because you are in business after all, the more chance you've got of getting caught out if you're not using copyrighted free or licensed material which you have the rights to use. You've got that with graphic stock, you've got thousands and thousands of images which you can use, and you have a license once you've actually signed up uh, to use these images. So if you ever, ever need to pro uh, provide proof, you'll have it and then you know that you're in the clear. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little video and tutorial. Don't forget graphic stocks are running this at the moment where it's a, a, a seven, free seven day access where you can download, I think it's about 147 or something like that, images from the graphic stock website for you to play about with. And don't forget if you're no good with uh, graphics at all, this is ideal for you. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.